If you've been to the Vilna city center sometime between May and October, you've probably seen clusters of bright orange bicycles grouped together across the town. Officially launched on April 1st, 2017, the Cyclocity bike sharing program has provided visitors and residents of Vilnius with short-term access to bicycles for riding around the city. These bicycles can be used for just a few minutes, or you can ride them for hours. But at the end of the day, when you're done riding, all you need to do is find a station to return the bike. Since I've already created informational and instructional videos on Vilnius and Konis public transit, as well as Bolt taxis and Bolt scooters, I think it's finally time to show you how to use Cyclocity bicycles, or at least try to. So if you're curious about these bicycles and considering maybe trying them one day, here's a quick guide on how to do it and some reflections and opinions on my first experience with these bikes. So let's get started. But first, I'm going to go over the geographical coverage of the program, methods of payment, and the pricing structure. So if you're not interested in these parts, just skip to this point in the video to see us get started on the bicycles. And maybe just hit the like and subscribe button along the way. So joining me on this warm day in late April was my wife. To try these bicycles, we headed towards the city centre from our apartment north of the city. That's the first thing you need to know about Cyclocity. The bicycles and their stations are only located around Vilnius Old Town, as well as neighbourhoods around the river. So in addition to Vilnius Old Town and its surrounding area, there are also bicycle stations located up at the station district around Stotis, around Ujupis, and in other neighbourhoods along the Neris River, like Jiverinas and Snipishkes. The furthest north you'll find bicycles are in Jermune. This leaves much of the northern part of Vilnius without convenient access. Even more surprising is the fact that Navyamistis doesn't have any stations either, for now at least. Anyways, all of this meant that we had to somehow make our way closer to the city center to try out these bicycles. But before getting to the station, we got the Cyclocity app on our phones, something that is available for both Apple and Android devices. Download the app, get registered, and enter your payment information. Part of this process involves confirming your email, so just be ready to do that too. It is possible to use these bicycles without a smartphone, but you will need a bank card that uses the Visa or MasterCard payment system. This, unfortunately, is absolutely necessary. Reading the website, it looks like pre-registration is required, and so if you're not using a smartphone, you'll need to pre-register on their website at cyclocity.lt. Here you'll create your profile along with a special secret six-digit code to associate with your email address. This code will be used at the stations to unlock bicycles. As with all my videos, I do my best to provide the most accurate information. If I find out that something is wrong or things change, I'll add information in the description or pin a comment down below. So make sure to check out those sections for any updates. You can also apparently use a subscription card, which can either be a Cyclocity Vilnius card or even the Vilnecio Cortele, which is the same card used for the public bus system in the city. According to the website, you can get a Cyclocity Vilnius card at a few places around the city. Just go to the FAQ section of the website to find out the details. With all these options and complexities, I would probably recommend using a smartphone. It was fairly easy for us, and it means that everything you need is on your phone, something that most people have with them at all times anyways. So once your account is all set up, you'll need to choose a subscription option which can range from single-use tickets all the way to three-day, one-month, and full-season subscriptions. Buy one of these options first to get started. After that, the pricing goes like this. The first 30 minutes of any trip is free and included as part of your plan. The next 30 minutes will cost you 39 cents, and the next 30 minutes after that will cost you 1 euro and 39 cents. After that, every 30 minutes will cost you 3 euros and 39 cents. Hopefully this is clear, but here are some examples to make it more understandable. If your ride is somewhere between 30 and 60 minutes, your ride will cost you a total of 39 cents. If your ride is between 60 and 90 minutes, the total cost will be 1 euro and 78 cents, or 39 cents plus 1 euro and 39 cents. If your ride is between 90 minutes and 2 hours, the total cost of your ride would be 5 euros and 17 cents which is, of course, 1 euro and 78 cents plus 3 euros and 39 cents. The goal of this policy is to make sure that you only ride the bicycle for a short amount of time and to make only short trips from point A to point B. This helps to make sure that there are always bicycles available for other people. There is one way to get around these limitations, and that is to break up your journey into a series of short trips. 
For example, you can theoretically ride as a Classity all day for free if you just make sure to park your bicycle at a station after riding for 29 minutes. The Cyclocity website says that you can park a bike, wait 1 to 2 minutes, and then take out another bike to reset your time. So if you want to save money by using this method, just plan your trip and make sure you know where the nearby docking stations are located. Okay, so once you're all set up and have a plan for your trip, just go to a station of your choice. If you're using the smartphone app, just open it up, choose your station, and swipe to select the bike that you want to use. Once you've done this, you'll have 60 seconds to take it out, and you can do this by pressing the unlock button at the station. Listen for the beeps, and then pull your bicycle out of the dock. Unfortunately, again, I can't guide you on unlocking the bikes without a smartphone, but I imagine this involves going to the little screen and entering information, and or using the subscription card near the bicycle. Once you've taken your bicycle out, the smartphone app will show you the time of your trip, allowing you to easily keep track of your journey and when you'll need to return the bicycle without being charged extra. When you're ready to end the trip, just find a station with an empty dock, roll your bicycle in and make sure it's firmly locked in. If it's not properly docked, you'll start to hear a loud and fast beeping. So just make sure you push your bicycle firmly in. So how was my first experience? Well, I have to say it went pretty well. For those who are good with technology, it shouldn't be too hard to figure out with a smartphone app. And once you get the hang of it, things are quite simple. The bicycles are comfortable enough for short rides and you have to make sure that the seat height is adjusted to suit you. Bicycles are all equipped with bells and brakes and have fairly good suspension, as you can see by my somewhat smooth footage taken while riding. As my wife pointed out, the bicycles are rather heavy and definitely heavier than normal bicycles. This may be a mild annoyance for some people when it comes to lifting them up curbs or rolling them up an incline. And just like using electric scooters, you will need to be careful about where you go and which roads you take. Be considerate of other people and watch out for bad drivers as well as those who decide to walk in and across bike lanes. There are a few nice places to ride around the city center, but ultimately I think Cyclocity is best suited for those who need to quickly get from one part of town to another rather than for a relaxing and leisurely bicycle ride. If you've tried Cyclocity before, I'd love to hear about your experience. Share it by leaving a comment down below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.